Salutations, cadets. I am your Commander Pika. This is for the Season of the Seraphs Week 7 Reset on January 17th, 2023. The seasonal story quest continues and should be finished this week, as well as hopefully the final catalyst for Revision Zero. On login, we got a message about an upcoming quest and activity launching in the final two weeks of the season for all players, most likely leading us into the story of Lightfall. This week sees the return of Grandmaster Nightfalls. If this is your first time, GMs are one of the most difficult endgame PvE modes. Juiced up Nightfalls that cap your power to at least 25 under. New this season, you only need to be 1580 power to enter, but that'll leave you a staggering 40 under power, so try to get as close to 1595 as you can. Make sure to read all the modifiers, coordinate with your team, and kill all the champions for platinum rewards. I'll have a basic tips for GMs guide going on the channel hopefully tomorrow with a detailed guide for the weekly GM launching each week. For veteran conquerors, now's the time to select any of the six GMs and gild your seal. For normal reset information, we have double rewards in the Nightfall playlist. So free to play players and all you at level for GMs, this is your time to farm away as this is the only free to play Nightfall this season. Continuing in the Vanguard node, the normal strike playlist has Solar Burn and the weekly Nightfall is Insight Terminus featuring Cargan and Voidburn. Dive in for that double loot and chance at the Mindbetter's Ambition Nightfall weapon. Turning to Crucible, Shax has brought Mayhem to town. For the endgame Pinnacles, dive into the Garden of Salvation Raid and Pit of Heresy Dungeon. Lastly, Dares of Eternity is in its new Rotation 3 loot pool, featuring weapons from Season of the Splicer and Old Forsaken World Drops. If you didn't see it, there's a new Lightfall Neo Muna trailer that I'll link down below. So hype! Look at all the little fishies! In celebration of the Lunar New Year and the Year of the Rabbit, there are new rabbit, red, and gold themed items in the Eververse store for silver, as well as a free emblem and a weekly gift of 880 bright dust for all players. With a new week, that means new vendor loot. Over at Banshee, he is selling a great PvP Syncopation 53 with Moving Target and Rangefinder, a cool PvE Jararaka 3 SR with 4 times the charm and Golden Tricorn, and a solid PvE Snorri FR5 with Heating Up and Reservoir Burst. On Saint's first trials reset, his Exalted Truth hand cannon has Repulsor Brace, and the Unwavering Duding has Autoloading Killing Tally. Not God Rolls, LMG's unique combo would be Subsistence Killing Tally, but solid options of diving into trials this week. I'm def grabbing the hand cannon to get a guaranteed Repulsor Brace 140. For armor, Titans and Hunters got some digs. Titans head to Zavala and Failsafe for decent roll armor, and Hunters head over to Failsafe as well. Tessa's brought some cool threads to the Eververse store. The new Sinking Feeling shader applies Arc Storm Clouds and Lightning effects to metallic armor. What's for Dust is on screen now. With that, I'll leave you to tackling GMs and wrapping up the seasonal quest. Make sure to stock up on masterworking materials heading into Lightfall. I myself will be tackling Gilded Conquer with my friends. I'll be streaming on Twitch if you want to see. We'll be doing min spec loadout to show that you can accomplish them with just the currently obtainable gear with their associated expansion. If you want some guides and tips for GMs, I'll have a generic guide up tomorrow and an in-depth guide for the weekly GM each week. So ring the bell and hit subscribe so you can watch them when they go live. And if you want to learn some raids, tackle some GMs, or meet some awesome people, then feel free to check out our clan and Discord Sundog Gaming. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.